everybody. My name is Vishal Prasad Gupta, born in a petroleum family. And for the past uh, uh, 100 years, our family is into the petroleum business, trading business. And from the genetically, I got the, uh, by this way, I came to the petroleum industry. I passed from BIT Mishra, and after that passing, I joined Total France and as an engineer and, and did the branding with the oil collaboration with Indian Oil for extra premium and extra mile brands in India. After joining the Indian Oil Corporation with uh, Total France, the uh, product distribution of all the fuels were distributed all over the India. World means air, water, and food. World means relies to the air, water, and food. Air we are having, we, have a, uh, we are polluting three types of, uh, we are polluting all the three. Air also, water also, and food chain also. So we have to, in the future, we will be having a serious crisis of all the three in the future. Next slide. How did the algae of, uh, how did I get this idea from developing the fuel from algae? When, when we were all locked up in the corona time, then I told, I told my mother to uh, give the milk. She was normal procedure. Uh, skimming of the milk from the cream, it was, the, it was carried on. But what was that? The refrigeration picked it and she took out ghee. Uh, when, uh, in, energy, in energy terms, we tell, tell this one is as energy cannot be created nor be destroyed and can be formed into one form to another form. So in that period, when everything was lost, the algae grew at a very vast speed. And this, I am giving the presentation on the 3G biofuel. Before we begin with the 3G biofuel, what is the bio, what is other two types of other fuels which are there in the market? What is what are the biofuels made of? Let us discuss with the first generation, that is food related sources. These food related sources are the sources which seeds which are related with the seeds. The extraction of the oil with with the, with the expellers, we are taking out the oil, and we are taking out with the, uh, with, the with the help of expellers, we are taking out only 20 to 30 percent of the total oil. And the second generation, uh, generation fuels, these are the fuels which are using the waste of that residue. So we can, be, uh, like uh, all the wheat, uh, all the food stuffs are there, it comes under the non-foodable, no food sources. And third generation is the algae. Algae is a small organic compound found in the water. It can be a plant, it, will be, it can be a small or it will be big. It, will be, it can be a macro or also it will be a micro. Algae is a small organic compound which are floating in the pond, which is visible from our eyes also, and we physically we can feel also with that. This is microalgae, azola pinata. We tried with this film with the microalgae, azola pinata. What we did in the near, near to the uh, uh, home, we have harvested this microalgae, azola pinata. We grinded up this one and make it into pellets. With that pellets, we have taken out the oil from a harvester. We have already have a harvesting unit over there at Jada Pinata because uh, this one is, uh, this contains oil also. The cyanobacteria is in the stem of the other one, that is a cyanobacteria found in this algae. So this cyanobacteria converts into oil and the lipid is taken out from this algae. And another type of algae is microalgae which is the microalgae which is present all over the ponds. Whether it's any pond or any or any other, any area, only thing we have to recognize what type of algae is it there. But it is, uh, you have to find out the type, species of algae and genetic of algae. How we take out the algae oil? We take out with the help of RO systems. With, with the RO system we are making, a membrane doesn't pass the algae with, with, all, uh, with membrane, algae doesn't pass out. So it remains in the filters. We take a batch of 1,000 liters and we take out the algae. First, we, uh, we have a psycho -te -psycho technology lab which is used for extracting what species of algae is present there in the water. And we have a small lab set up in Jharkhand that is, we have a soxlate apparatus. We use this one, we dry this one, take out the sample from the pond. We take out and we use it in the soxlate apparatus. So we, Easily you can extract the oil from that one. Any dry matter, any dry matter, if you're using, you can take out the oil from the soxide petals. And this is biodiesel. This is the algae we have harvested there in Rachi. 
these are green algae. It is, it is a six acre pond and it is full of algae and a layer of three inches. And every seventh day you can take out the algae. This was earlier, uh, uh, this, was, this is after that. And this is the cyanobacteria azola pinata, which I was talking about. This is the cyanobacteria azola pinata. This is a small plant, a small, which is floating into the ponds. You can take out this pond and you can use it as a biofuel. How you grind this one into small, it, it will become into biochar. After this biochar, you can make these pellets. After these pellets, you take it into the boilers, hexane treatment, then by uh, algae oil. It will come out and then transit sterification. Okay? How can, how, what are the areas where we can do the harvesting? Suppose we have a small, we do have uh, small ponds are there. The maximum yield you can take out the oil from the open pond is 26%. Let it be 20% also. That can be contribute to the biofuel policy. Because most of the imports are there with the, all the crude imports are there. So 5 to 10%, if you do the contribution, it will be very big volume. And if your natural settings like the hilly ridge areas are there, you can do it very easily. Like your setting, little bit settings has to be changed and 5 to 10% you can get the accuracy over there. Third is with the closed system with the photobioreactors. Photobioreactors are very expensive also and it is very hard to operate also. So we have done in the Rachi, we have done with open pond system and natural settings. We have utilized the natural settings and open pond areas for the harvesting of algae. And this is the future technology which will be coming out with, with algae. Future, with algae, you can make biodiesel, you can make ethanol, you can make hydrogen. In future, what will be the, uh, what will be the future? That in future, this, all the ponds, all the rivers will be acting as a power generator. Because in future, hydrogen is going to come and you can take out the hydrogen from the pond itself only which is containing the type of algae. And it will be a future because all the vehicles right now will be enough, it will be a, uh, all will be ethanol or E85 or it will be a biodiesel. You can see this one, the biodiesel, it will be powered. This is the future vehicle which is going to come. It will be written there, biodiesel. <laughs> and this we have harvested there, we have taken uh, over there in the pond, and in small nurseries we have developed this one, and we have this transplant into the main pond. Only three or four things you have to keep in mind in keep, uh, harvesting the algae. One is air, that means CO2 levels are there. Second is the pH value of water. It should be around 6.5 to 8.5. Third is the sunlight. Sunlight it should be around uh, six to eight hours. And fourth is the nutrition. What is the nutrition you have to give to that algae? And before I was thinking that algae, you are, you are, it doesn't harm the food chain also. Nor fish, no, nothing can be spoiled in the future. Because this is act as a, and this can be as a feed also. It can be used as a feed also in future by the, uh, by the cows and all the fisheries. All it can be used as a feed also. And this is the my retail outlet which you started with a small 2,500 liter sale and it is according to the BIS norms of 1507-2016 norms. That we got this tested oil and we have set a small uh, pilot pump at uh, Jharkhand. And, What we future we are looking after into it that is, we have only done with the only with the biodiesel. We got two things uh, main main cause of the pollution are there. One is air. Air ambient air quality is decreasing day by day. We are sitting here. We are outside. We go. The temperature is very high. This this if you harvest this algae, the ambient air quality, uh, temperature of the CO2 of that area will be around 10 to 15 degree, 10 degrees or 7 degrees will be decreasing of that area. It will act as a filter of that area, for that area. It will pump out the CO2 and it will be uh, converted into the uh, fuel. And it can be used for making ethanol also. If you dried up algae, 
uh, you can uh, for by the fermentation process it can be used for making ethanol and the third process is the for making hydrogen this can be this is a biomass this is a biomass it can be used as a feedstock two types of feedstock can be used for making hydrogen one is algae and second is coal india is a, in uh, because we need uh, to develop this bio digesters for algae we have to have, can have a bio digester easily we can extract syn gas from co2 and from co2 you can take out the uh, all the all the gases can be fermented after that filtration can be done and h2 can be extracted very easily so if we concentrate on this small small ponds near to the village or near to the cities this uh, ponds can act as a bio generators for that area so we don't have to depend on the fossil fuels and these are i am telling you how you may be thinking why this why should i use this this may be harm my engine because what is that now all the oem manufacturers they have given one code for diesel and petrol one is en590 this is a code for the diesel and one is en228 that is for the petrol the blending has to be done for certain extent for the vehicle manufacturer has already permitted they can easily permit they can all easily you can vehicle can be used because it won't be having your any injection system in your because what is that uh, we are using uh, vehicle we are in that vehicle we are using synthetic grade oils multi semi synthetic grade oils when we can this synthetic grade oils are what these are made from the organic we have some part of the organic they have to be blended they are blended in that part so easily it can be used this fuels are easily and it doesn't harm the food chain also and easily it can be used by the vehicle and also it the calorific value of this one especially the diesel is 10600 kJ per gram but this one is the same meet the power with the algae only and the future is that uh, if you harvest algae you will secure your uh, imports are very limited imports will be decreasing okay for the crude oil and we don't have to depend on the opec countries for the uh, uh, imports so 85% of our imports are from the opec countries so we are importing all the uh, oil from the opec countries if we contribute 10 to 15% of that this one that that is a big volume we can save from the export and our government of government also announced a policy you can look into the policy biofuel policy that is 10th november 2018 the government has passed a policy in that policy it is uh, all the stages of the fuel which has to be, we can be developed and it can be uh, it can be used by the vehicle also and oem so have to follow that rules as per the policy because in 10th november what had had happened the all the we are getting polluted your environment is getting polluted so government and the petroleum ministry are divided into two parts one is into the organic sector and one is the conventional fuel sector so if you look into the future is in the biofuel because in future what will be going to happen the, all the fossil fuels will be exhausted after exhaustion we, all the rates will be increasing then our fuel which you are developing into the near by only that will act as a very good energy saver also and it will be a providing the employment to the locals also of that area because algae harvesting to the algae production of the oil it uh, requires around 4 to 5 people and it is the my it is a th india's first 3g plant and all the visit they have came to visit it and they also saw it was very new thing in the area yeah. but government is going to do right now uh, government will be encouraging all the biofuel they will be what they will be doing all the ponds will be act as a generator all the instruments and all the technology will be now be shifted to urban sector rural sector they will be developing algae over there and they will be processing to the plant nearby areas we they will have expellers all extraction unit all the thing facilities will be there at the end level so we'll get a low cost fuel and we are also developing a super fuel uh, which will be compatible with both the vehicles petrol and diesel and that will be one fuel for when then can be one 
one, uh, one tax for one nation, then why can't we have one fuel for one nation? <laughs> so we are developing a super fuel. It will be very compatible to both the engines, and it will be almost six to eight months we'll be launching it very soon. It will be hardly, it will be costing around 25 to 30 rupees.